Good morning, everyone, and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. We are located in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Larry Vickers. If you've been watching the videos for a while, basically what we've been doing is a walk around of a truck, you know, from one truck to the next to get you familiar with what the, what the haulers are. In addition, what the Summit Hauler conversion represents or what makes us unique. Well, we're gonna to continue to do that, but we're gonna expand on that a little bit. And what I mean by that is we're really gonna focus on Freightliner and why it is superior to Ford and Dodge as well. So as we get going, we're gonna take a look at a brand new Freightliner M2-106. The conversion is Summit Hauler. Now I know that there's a lot of people out there that are either retired or getting ready to retire I want to just hook up to a fifth wheel and go. So that's why we have a fifth wheel hooked on today to give you a visual representation of what this truck offers. So for those people that are going to be using a fifth wheel trailer, why purchase Freightliner? Well, if we look at the truck from the side and start to really get into and talk about some differences between Freightliner and Ford and Ram, let's talk about longevity. Okay, the size and the mass and the power that this truck has compared to, let's just take Ford, all right? Ford has just come out with a 500 horsepower engine. I admit that, but at the end of the day, it's still a pickup. You know, if you compare Freightliner in terms of safety to that specific truck, the advantage is Freightliner. If you compare comfort to Freightliner with that sort of a truck, the advantage again falls to Freightliner. One thing that needs to be addressed is resale value. You take that Ford pickup and you drive it 50,000 miles. Compare it directly to a Freightliner. You take this truck, you drive it 50,000 miles. Whose resale value do you think is gonna be higher? Clearly the advantage falls to Freightliner. So let's talk about safety for a bit. And you can already see the first huge advantage that this has over any pickup, and that's the size and the mass of it. If we're driving this, we're retired, we're going from one site to the next, enjoying ourselves, something happens and we're in an accident, okay? The chances of walking away from something like this compared to a pickup are substantially higher. So advantage again falls to Freightliner. Now as we look at this specific truck, We'll come around and take a look from the front. We can see tow hooks located down here at the bottom. We find an aftermarket grill. As we go on up and take a look at the hood, that's part of the durability thing we just addressed. This is made of compressed fiberglass. That hood is extremely tough and durable. A hailstorm can come through and you take a look at the hood of this truck and you really couldn't tell anything had happened. Now the windshield, that's a lot of glass. That's 2,500 square inches of glass. So that makes visibility simply outstanding. As we take a look under the hood, we find the Cummins 8.9 liter engine. It is coupled with the Allison 3200 TRV transmission. This offers 360 horsepower and roughly 1150 foot pounds of torque. So if we compare the size and the longevity of the transmissions between the Freightliner and any brand of pickup, the advantage falls to Freightliner. This truck is stock number 5N221346. As we come on in and take a look at the tires, it comes with Michelin. 255 ADR 22.5. One unique thing about the Summit Hauler conversion are these. 
this is tire balancers. So that makes everything balanced. As you pick up speed and as you gain momentum, everything balances. So that does a few things for us, okay? That makes it safer if everything is balanced. It makes for a more comfortable ride. In addition to that, that will extend tire life up to 40%. Underneath here is the block heater to plug that truck in at night. As we take a look at the inside, both the driver and passenger seat are air ride. So let's just take a second to talk about comfort and the advantages the Freightliner has, specifically the Summit Hauler conversion. This is the softest, most comfortable seat on the market today. In addition to that, here's where we adjust the air. This is the lumbar system that lets air in and out of the back of the seat. This is for heated seats. Something else about comfort, let me crawl on in. Take a look at the distance between the top of my head and, and the top of the cab. There's a lot of room there. You know, you compare that to a pickup, you're right here. And I can stretch clear over like this and barely even get to the passenger seat. So if we talk about room and space, there's there and from head up, tons of room there as well. Under this step is one of two 50 gallon fuel tanks. The other one is on the opposite side. And you can get about seven to 11 miles per gallon with this truck. Right beside it is the DEF tank that holds up to six gallons. As we take a look in the back seat, the back seat makes down into a bed. and taken right back up to the normal sitting position. Also from down here, you can kind of see the trim level of the Summit Hauler conversion. This coupled with the door panel that has the Summit Hauler badge on it. This is the trickle charger that assist the batteries in maintaining power. An example of when you would use that if you're in your travels at night and you wanna leave those lights on inside, you can plug that in to assist the batteries. As we take a look inside the front storage compartment, it is diamond plated. In addition, it comes with a connection for an air hose if one is needed. Look in the back one, just a smaller compartment there, but can still hold items for you while you're in your travels. Now we notice the bed is diamond plated. If we take a look directly up top, right there is where the backup camera is located. This truck uses the Voyager system, and I'll show you where to install it here in a little bit, but you can actually uh, use more cameras and put them in things like horse trailers, under mirrors, things of that nature, if you desire more cameras. As we come on down, we see two holes already pre-drilled. If you are in need of additional storage, I can actually have a storage box shipped right to your house. As we walk underneath, we'll see here's the plug-in for the Voyager system. And as we take a look at that bed, we can see where that trough is cut out. Okay, that made hooking up this trailer a lot easier. We've had trade-ins come in with that back part all beat up. By cutting that trough out, that eliminates that. As we admire the truck from this side, 
Let's talk about service for a little bit and compare Freightliner service to pickups, Ford or Dodge. So especially here at TransWest, we are certified elite, and that means a couple of things, and we'll compare them. You bring your truck here to get it serviced, they'll check it in right away, they'll stay in contact with you throughout the process, help you accomplish anything you need to while your truck is getting serviced. All right, compare that, let's take our Ford F450 into the Ford dealership. Well, we're behind the Ford Escort in line, and sit there without any communication for who knows how many hours until they get around to fixing or maintaining your truck. So in terms of maintenance, a huge difference, advantage falls to Freightliner. Let's talk about warranties. The Freightliner warranty is two years unlimited miles. The Allison transmission warranty is five years unlimited miles. So the warranty itself should tell you what kind of quality of that product is. If they're gonna warranty it for five years unlimited miles, that really tells you something. The conversion itself, three years, 36,000 miles. As we take a look inside the passenger seat, one unique thing about this truck that I really like is the color of that interior. Try to find a pickup that has light colored interior. You're not going to do it. So if you, that is an advantage to this specific Freightliner over a lot of the pickups. As we take a look inside the back seat, this angle here really gives you a good representation of just how much room and space is available. That coupled with the fact that we have the most comfortable seats on the market today really makes those long trips feel like nothing. I'm gonna crawl in there real quick just to show you. How much room is available? Plenty of leg room here. Again, head up, plus all kinds of room back here. So the advantage in terms of space, obviously, falls to Freightliner. Let's crawl on in and take a closer look. Okay, as we sit here, this mainly confirms a lot of things we were talking about on the outside. We can see the visibility I can see clear over here, you know, the backup camera is located here. So if you're traveling without a trailer on, you can want to leave that on. You have 360 degree visibility. So that's a huge safety advantage there. As we take a look at a couple of things um, on the dash, these are our air gauges. The top one is brakes. The bottom one is primarily um, second market stuff, for example, it's a secondary gauge. It monitors brakes plus everything else like seats, cab, all of that stuff. Automatic transmission. Okay, R for reverse, D for drive, and we're on our way. Let's talk about the engine brake. We've turned that to high. This is a big advantage over the exhaust brake that a pickup has because it is a true engine brake. If we're coming down a sharp decline, we have that to high, we actually have 360 horses coming back at us. You know, I've taken people on test drives with these and turned that on. And up the road here a little bit, there's kind of a small little dip. They never even touch their brakes. In fact, when they're getting closer to the stop sign, they actually have to speed up a little bit to get there because coming down just that little type of incline, you can really feel it kick on you know, and just slow everything up almost to a standstill. Now we're just gonna go over a couple of these. Cruise control is up here. This is for the dump valve. So that lets all the air out of the bed of the truck. An example of when you would use that is when you go to hook up your trailer, let all the air out, utilize your backup camera, makes installation very easy. 
This is the brake here. Right now we're in neutral with the brake on. If your trailer does require air, this is all lined and ready to go. We can simply install your glad hands and hook you up and you're on your way. Rear air conditioning right here, or you can turn it to red for heat. Climate control located here. One thing about this specific truck, these remotes are for massage seats. So not only can you set the pulse you want, but the location you want in your seat for massage seats as you go down the road. And a couple of cup holders here. And as we open up the console, we see more than ample storage room right there. So as we review the video today, we did take a look at a 2023 M2106 with the Summit Hauler conversion. And, and, and in addition to that, we talked about why the Freightliner is a superior product to the Ford and Ram and on why you should really consider purchasing a Freightliner. If you have any more questions, please get a hold of me at 303-684-3404. You can email me at larry.vickers at transwest.com or for more information, simply click on the link below. Thanks for tuning in today.